Welcome to the FastSplint Matrix Orthodontic Lingual Retainer Step-by-Step -step Instructional Video, Simplified Hybrid Technique. There are three possible methods to create a FastSplint Matrix Lingual Retainer, and this video reviews the simplest method to combine both indirect and direct procedures. Begin by marking the final stone working model with the intended position of the retainer. Be sure to place the retainer away from the embrasures. The typical position is across the contact points of the teeth. Remove a strip of fast splint matrix wax from the package. Peel off the protective strip exposing the adhesive side of the wax. Starting from one side of the retainer position, place the wax strip across the lingual teeth surfaces, starting just short of the distal contact point, ensuring that the adhesive side of the wax is facing the tooth surface. Trim off any excess length of wax, stopping just short of the distal contact point. Using a hand instrument and your finger, ensure that the wax strip is properly positioned. Then carefully apply firm pressure with your finger to ensure the wax is completely adapted to the tooth surfaces. Next, using the wide tip, inject the matrix clear silicone over the lingual and incisal surfaces of the teeth to be retained. Once an initial layer of silicone has been applied, insert the matrix T-tip onto the lingual surface and continue to cover the area with an additional layer of silicone. Using a finger wetted with alcohol or any other separating media, gently mold and shape the silicone to create a relatively smooth surface. Allow to cure for approximately one and a half minutes. A negative space of the wax position will now be captured in the index. Once cured, remove the silicone index and trim it to remove any areas of undercut or obstruction. This will make it easier to reapply the index to the model and in mouth at later stages. Be sure to maintain contact of the index with the incisal surfaces of the teeth. Using a marker, mark the index and the model in the middle of the central incisors to provide a guide for reinsertion onto the model and in the mouth. As the wax strip on the model may have softened, it will be easier to remove it if cooled. You may do so by running the model under cold water for a few seconds. Using an instrument, carefully remove the wax strip from the model. The wax will be used to measure the correct length of compressible fiber and should be kept with the silicone index. Both are now ready to be used at chair side. Verify the fit of the index to ensure the retainer will be placed in the correct position. Remove a strip of fast splint matrix compressible fiber from the package and position the wax strip on one side of the protective plastic covering over the fiber bundle, leaving it short of each side of the strip. Use 
Using scissors, trim each side of the fiber strip in the position of the wax strip. Remove the wax strip and set it aside. Next, inject a thin layer of matrix flow composite into the negative space or trough on the lingual surface of the silicone index. Remove the pre-measured length of compressible fiber from the protective plastic and place the fiber inside the index trough. Make sure that the fiber is placed completely inside the space and that no loose ends are sticking out from the sides of the trough. The index with the fiber length in place is now ready to be inserted intraorally. Be sure to protect the index and the fiber from direct light at this phase as the fiber and composite may cure prematurely. You may choose to complete the last few steps after the two surfaces are prepared. Pumice the two surfaces onto which the retainer will be bonded. Apply phosphoric acid to the lingual two surfaces, let sit for 30 seconds, and rinse thoroughly. Gently air dry the two surfaces and apply a coat of matrix bond to them. Light cure for 30 seconds and maintain a dry, uncontaminated working field. Insert the index intraorally into position, maintaining a firm pressure against the two surfaces and light cure for 40 seconds. After curing, remove the index and continue curing for another 30 seconds. Using the matrix flow syringe or brush, place a thin layer of matrix flow composite over the fiber retainer to seal the exposed surfaces. Light cure for 40 seconds. Once fit and occlusion have been verified and any excess composite has been removed, Polish the retainer to create a smooth surface for patient comfort. <laughs>